man, oh man. This is your boy D Entrepreneur, man. I'm just sitting here putting, putting some air in my tires, man. Not because I just want to, or just because I chose to like, oh, let me get out and put air in my tires today. No, because man, they don't me over on my damn load today, man. This the part of trucking that ain't nobody gonna talk about really. It ain't they ain't telling you about, man. Look, yeah, you see me put air in my tires, but I'm only putting air in my tires in my trailer right now because I'm fucking bored. I'm bored and I'm about to be sitting here all damn day. Man, this is the worst damn load ever. This is some bullshit. This is that bullshit, you know what I'm saying? But this is a part of the damn trucking, man. Let me tell y'all what happened today. So I be running my loads and stuff, right? I be getting my trailers preloaded. For some of y'all that don't know what preloaded means, that means you don't wait for it to get loaded. You just drop your trailer off, it get loaded later sometime, and you come back and pick it up before your appointment is due. Okay, so that's getting your trailer preloaded. So, I had got this trailer preloaded. I had got one of my trailers preloaded. And I'm like, man, yeah, let me come out and come run this road. Let me come run this load. Good paying load, great paying load. 163 miles from Fairburn, Georgia to McCalla, Alabama. Great paying load, you know what I'm saying? Y'all could probably go back to one of my videos before and see what I get for this load. Cause I run these loads all the time. Upwards to the two thousand dollar range, you know what I'm saying? For 163 miles. But yeah, but let me tell you the bullshit though. Man, they loaded me up a load that was supposed to be here yesterday. I'm thinking I'm bringing a load that was supposed to be due today. But guess what? As you know, it ain't my fault. I ain't do nothing wrong. No, I did my job. The entrepreneur did his job. Mud Transport did their job. You know what I'm saying? My logistics coordinator and the um, shipping facility. I ain't even gonna say my logistics coordinator. The shipping facility, y'all dropped the ball. Y'all dropped the ball big time. And get what? Y'all got to pay. Big time. Big, big time. Y'all got to pay. I ain't playing no games. Man, I was supposed to be here at 9 o'clock this morning in McCalla, Alabama. According to what my what they told me and what my, you know, what my rate con and stuff like that say. I don't really have no rate con like that, like that, but uh, I mean, I do. I do, but it just don't come from no, the brokers or nothing. You know, it comes straight from the shippers, but um, my rate con said 9 a.m. for appointment Da da da, and the last four numbers that I have for that appointment due this morning at 9 a.m. Tell me why they loaded up the wrong load. They loaded up another load that I had from yesterday that was supposed to be rescheduled for another day because it wasn't ready yesterday, but apparently they got the rest of the product in sometime last night and still loaded it up on my trailer after I talked to them and told them not to load that load up. And it was supposed to be a reschedule for another day. And just load up the load that was supposed to be delivered today. Load that one up on the trailer and we'll come back to the other one. They said, okay. They said, okay. I go pick up the load this morning. Get it here, no problems. By 9 a.m. this morning. Tell me why I got rejected. At Publix Distribution in McCalla, Alabama. They rejected my ass. What? What? Some bullshit. I got rejected. I had to call the logistics coordinator back. I had to call the logistics coordinator and let them know what happened. And they see that they dropped the ball. Well, the shipping facility, of course, they gonna put it on them and say that the logistics coordinator gonna say they dropped the ball. And of course, because the logistics coordinator is just somebody that's in the office, they not over there in the warehouse doing the actual loading and stuff like that. All they do is coordinate the loads. The people that's there loading are the ones that's supposed to be paying attention to their little, 
to their little computers and stuff like that and know what to load up, when to load it up, on which trailer, which load and stuff like that. Somebody ain't doing their job, man. So get what? D entrepreneur, mud transport. We got, we got to charge that ass. I ain't playing with them. No, 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 no. Oh yeah, make sure when y'all y'all airing up y'all tires, man. Y'all keep y'all a, uh, you know, keep y'all a little stool or something, man. So y'all be messing y'all back up. You know, let's come around here to the other side. Check the air on these tires. But yeah, we about to charge them, man. Because that's some bullshit, you know. Now, I got to sit here. So I done talked to the logistics coordinator. They said I could deliver it today. <laughs> At 6 o'clock this evening. <laughs> man, they done set your boy D Entrepreneur up, man. They got me today. They got me today, man. I ain't even gonna sit here and lie to y'all. I let y'all know when I been got. They got me today, but they won't get me on that money though. I'ma get their ass. Oh yeah, y'all gotta pay. You know, I love y'all over there, man. Cause you know, y'all provide the way, you know, for my trucks to keep rolling and stuff like that. Y'all gotta pay for this fuck up, man. And for all y'all owners and stuff out there, Hey, don't let people be getting over on y'all and stuff like that, man. If a mistake happened and it's not your fault, you got to charge them. Charge them. Because guess what? If a mistake happened on your end and it's your fault, you fucked up. You think they give a damn? No. You going to have to pay. So get what? When they when somebody when they drop the ball, you make them pay. You make them pay, man. Y'all make sure y'all hit the like button on that. Y'all make sure y'all comment on that hey and y'all comment and let me know man <laughs> have y'all ever had any problems who all done had them problems man at, at a uh at a facility uh, a wrong appointment a wrong load wrong day or something you know what i'm saying and what did you do did you get compensated did you think it was your uh, just do compensation y'all comment and let me know and man y'all make sure y'all subscribe to my channel man Hey, it's getting hot out here, man. Hey, this sun is beaming on my back. Y'all see, I got my shirt on. You know what I'm saying? I got my same old original Dita slides on. You know, I'm always Adidas. <laughs> I keep on them Adidas. You know what I'm saying? Woo, we sweating bullets, man. Damn. Damn. Put air on these tires, sweating bullets out here. But guess what? This is my stuff, man. This is my trailer. I got the trucks, trailers, you know what I'm saying? We got owner operators, you feel me? Hey, we scaling up, man, so, but look, today's a tough day, man, and I'm, hey, they got me today. I'm gonna be, yo, I ain't gonna make it home till late tonight, man. Hey, and I be home every day, you know what I'm saying? But it's okay, you know? I decided to actually make two videos out here today while I'm just sitting here wasting time, so guess what? Y'all get y'all some content, man. So that was, you know, that's what we doing, man. We dropping content. And, and, and this video is for the stuff that people ain't gonna tell y'all, the stuff that people don't wanna talk about, you know, waiting all day. Shit, that's, that put me at a whole work shift just of waiting before I even get unloaded. Ain't that some bullshit? That's some bullshit. But guess what? We gonna make them pay. Y'all gotta pay for this, man. I ain't playing with y'all. We don't sit for free. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, so y'all people out there running companies and stuff like that, hey, y'all keep that in mind, man. Y'all get y'all just do on these loads and stuff. Y'all start taking peanuts for these loads, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know y'all company worth and y'all value and stuff, man. Hey, the drivers I got over here with me, they love it. They happy, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna make sure they get paid and eat good, just like me. I ain't trying to be the only one doing these seven, eight, nine thousand dollar weeks and being home every day? Man, ain't too many of y'all that say that, oh yeah, I do nine thousand in a week and be home every day. Now today is some bullshit, but I'ma still make it home. It's gonna be late as hell, but today is some bull, you know what I mean? But look, you know, we just sitting here airing up the tire, doing a little, we did a little quick little walk around, did a little quick little pre-trip. 
You know what I'm saying? So this is what we doing while we waiting. You know, I ain't even out here <laughs> airing our tires because <laughs> I chose to. I mean, yeah, I chose to, but it ain't like I'm like, hey, let me down check my tires every month day. No, it's because I'm fucking bored. <laughs> I'm bored. Because <laughs> I'm out here waiting in McCalla, Alabama. Man, I would have already been unloaded by now and been on the way to the house. But instead, I got to wait like, I don't even know how many more hours I got to wait. I don't even know what time it is right now. All I know is this is that bullshit. But we going to make them pay. Yeah, Mr. Postman. Y'all got to pay for this, Mr. Postman. Yes, sir. Y'all got me out here like this? What? I'm the entrepreneur. Y'all got to pay for that. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe to channel A. Y'all make sure y'all keep y'all a tire gauge in your truck. Man, keep your 50 foot uh, airline in your truck, man, so you always be able to air up the tires, you know. Stay up with your equipment and stuff like that, man. That's how I'm able to run older older equipment out here on this road and still make it, you know? A lot of y'all can't do that. <laughs> y'all need all that 2028 20, stuff, all that 2027, 20, 2026 20, equipment. <laughs> We're only at 2021, 20, people. <laughs> and I get this old school stuff, man, and make that new school money mine. Ain't that right? Shout out to my fellas, man. Shout out to Jake. Shout out to my other driver, man, Ryan. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my boy Slim that be coming through helping out, man, from Wilson and Sons. You feel me? He come through and pull freight with me sometimes. They know they know what's up with the money, man. But y'all ain't got to go through this bullshit that I'm going through today. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> it's all good, though, man. Y'all make sure y'all go follow me on Instagram, man, at D Entrepreneur. D E E Entrepreneur. Y'all make sure y'all go check out that video over there. Go check out that video over there. And y'all make sure y'all click them links below too, man. Y'all join my Facebook group. I got a Facebook group down below. You can click the link for that, you know, dropping knowledge and stuff like that, growing a community of successful truck drivers or people trying to grow, being truck drivers, fleet owners, company, drivers, it doesn't matter, owner operators, dispatchers. Hey, we welcome, welcome all, man, because there's a lot of, you know, stuff going on in this transportation, man. So click the link below so we can start tapping in, you know. Y'all make sure y'all click the link below for that mud apparel. I got more mud apparel coming soon. And y'all can get the shirt that I had on in the video right here. You know what I'm saying? Or right here. Something like that, you know. Y'all can get that, that shirt. Uh, man, we got a whole lot of stuff going on, man. We just trying to grow, man. But right now, this is that bullshit that I'm going through. And uh, and I just wanted to make a video on it, man. Shout out to y'all, man. Everybody stay proper, out, prosperous out there. Enjoy your mother trucking day. Get that money. Don't take no, no shorts, you know. Stay up on your equipment. And if you got drivers, take care of your drivers, man. Cause uh, that's the only way you're gonna be able to keep them and, and communication, you know, and have a good setup. <laughs> That's it. And man, y'all be good. Y'all be blessed, man. This is your boy D Entrepreneur, man. And I am signing out. I am gone. I am sweating motherfucking bullets out here, man. This shit is crazy. No shirt on. You know what I'm saying? And this is what hard work look like. You feel me? Beer belly and all. This your boy D Entrepreneur, man. Y'all enjoy y'all day, man. And we are gone. And y'all subscribe to that channel. Subscribe to that channel. Subscribe to this channel. Like this video. Yeah, you. Appreciate y'all. Uh. Old face hunters. Yeah. Stuffed in my denim pockets. Ain't he got no more room for a penny. A penny. I don't mean to brag, but the price for the Louis bag costs a